Good day, I am Marzine Salvacion. I'm your group 4B of BSN 3G here to present our research, Quality of Life of Nursing Students During Flexible Remote Learning. Accompanying me today is Alicia Gabrielle Rocco, Maylene Silva, and Tristan Rice Villanueva. So according to the CDC, quality of life is a broad, multidimensional concept that usually includes subjective evaluations of both positive and negative aspects of life. So from interactive in-person classes, learning experiences have shifted to facing a two-dimensional screen for many students across the world, specifically nursing students. These findings from other studies lead, led the researchers into wanting to discover how nursing students had fared after their lessons were moved to an online platform. So for the statement of the problem, instead of the aim to determine the quality of life of a nursing student during online learning, the following are the specific queries to study to aim to answer. What is the demographic profile of a nursing according to sex, year level, type of community, type of internet service, and type of device use? Number two, what's the level quality of life for nursing students according to physical, psychological, social, environment? Is there a significant relationship between the level of quality of life for nursing students and profile variables? Sex, year level, type of community, type of internet service, and type of device use. For research design, uh, this study utilizes a quantitative correlational research survey method to assess and interpret students' quality of life during flexible remote learning. So the participants of the study are the second, third, and fourth year nursing students currently enrolled at the University of St. Nassau. In computing the sampling size, Slobin's formula was utilized based on a 5% margin of error and a total population of 740. With that, it was determined that 260 nursing students will be the sample size for this study. It was then calculated that 101 second year students, 96 third year students, and 63 fourth year students were asked to participate in the study. To specifically decide which students will be taking part in the study, a random selection will be conducted using the wheel of names. The instrument used was a modified standardized questionnaire where the first portion answers the demographic data of the respondents and the second portion will assess the quality of life of nursing students. The questionnaire first takes into consideration the demographic profile of the respondents, which includes their sex, year level, type of community, type of internet service, and type of device being used, while the second portion questionnaire of the questionnaire will assess the respondent's quality of life using the four domains, which are the physical domain, psychological domain, social domain, and environmental domain. First question in the statement of the problem, which is about demographic data of the respondents, frequency, distribution, and percentage were used. To analyze the data for the second question, which assess the respondents' level of quality of life, mean and standard deviation was used to analyze the responses. As for the third question, which assess if whether there is a significant relationship between the level of quality of life for nursing student and profile variables. Chi-square test of independence was used. So for the demographic profile of nursing students, for sex, majority of the participants mainly consisted of female respondents, and most of those who took part in the study were from the third year level nursing students taking up 36.9% of the total 260 sample size. Three-fourths of the participants ma mainly reside within urban communities, and in terms of internet service, 76.2% of the participants are utilizing a fiber optic internet connection. For type of device being used, over half of the participants are using laptops to attend their online classes. So the level of quality of life for nursing students, the level of quality of life for nursing students are considered to be fair, in the physical, social, relationship, and environmental domains. However, have a low quality of life in a psychological domain. Overall, nursing students have a generally low quality of life during flexible remote learning. The overall low quality of life can imply that nursing students may not be satisfied with the current education they are receiving. With a relationship between the level of quality of life and study variables, our results revealed that there are significant relationships between nursing students and our study variables, being sex, year level, type of internet service, and type of device used. Regarding the type of community, it has shown to not be significant in terms of affecting the nurse's student's quality of life. In conclusion, the University of St. Nassau College of Nursing second, third, and fourth year nursing students are mostly female, with the majority living in an urbanized community the majority having access to adequate fiber optic internet service and nearly all having laptops as their primary device for attending online classes. Respondents who had a low overall quality of life ranked fair in the physical, social relationship, and environmental areas, but low in the psychological category. And that there is a substantial association between nursing students' quality of life and the profile variable sex, year level, kind of internet service, and type of device utilized based on the data supplied. However, the quality of life nursing students did not alter significantly depending on the sort of community in which they resided in. For 
further recommendations, university administrators should consider assessing the quality of life of all students in all colleges as every student is facing a different set of obstacles or challenge that may hinder their quality of life. Nurse educators might consider a reflective period for student, students after each semester for them to fully absorb and declutter the events that happened in the previous semester. Parents may reassure their children that the current educational environment is temporary and that the conventions that existed before everything went online would eventually return. The nursing students might consider how their quality of life could potentially affect the care they give to their patients and if whether they're in a good condition to be able to be giving adequate health care. And future researchers might address and compare how the quality of nursing students is post online learning period to have a better grasp of the implications of these findings. This will offer more information of 